But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. As you see the title saying that the Hindu god Rama appeared in Egypt. Big problem. Horrible problem. As usual, the Muslim and the Islamic phobia is beyond imagination. You know, this religion, they claim that they are strong, they claim that they are superior, but in the same time, they have a phobia from anything. So the highest Islamic authority in Egypt and maybe in the world, they are afraid that many Egyptians these days are calling their daughters Rama. How you do that? Don't you know that Rama is the god of the Hindus? How in the world you do that? And here you notice those potatoes, cowards. Just two days ago, they have a celebrations for the gods of Egypt in the heart of Cairo. just a few days ago last week do you see how silly they are they promote for it they broadcast in satellite they post the video everywhere the army celebrating the president was there so celebrating the gods of the egypt the pharaohs is okay and calling your daughter rama is a problem that's deep what about Muhammad Salah call him, calling him the Pharaoh? Is it okay to call him the Pharaoh? Isn't it the Pharaoh who want to grow and kill Moses? <laughs> the Pharaoh? <laughs> How come nobody complain? <laughs> the Pharaoh. I mean, you could not find a name better than this, the Pharaoh. Not the Egyptian king, the pharaoh. Al Faraon. Even they have a picture for him. Look at this. He's half pharaoh, half Abdul. <laughs> what a hypocrite cult, man. Their phobia is a stupid and silly, and it appears only when it is something silly. I mean, look, the highest scholars of Egypt, they set the alarm. You cannot call your daughter Rama, but the belly dancings and the nightclubs and drinking and hashish and drugs everywhere. 
every single citizen in Egypt, he, 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 you know, he take drugs. They take drugs more than food. There's a very famous actor. They ask him, uh, you know, it's like a comedy. His name is Adil Imam. You know, Muslim, they knew him very well. So the judge, he asked him, uh, because there's a breed dancer, she got killed in the building. So he, the judge, he said to him, okay, so now you learn that you have a breed dancer in the building. Why you do not move out? So he said to the judge, well, if, if every one of us, he have a breed dancer in the building, move out, we have to move the whole country. And this is reality. Everybody is laughing. The whole country is a Billy Dancers. But the name Rama is the problem. How come this guy did not open his mouth when the president of Egypt just five days ago he marched in a majestic Egyptian kufar this is the throne of the Pharaoh celebrating the gods of Egypt. How come none of them open his mouth? Who dare? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I wish I can play the video. <laughs> Millions of Muslims around the world. What is it? Those the Egyptian, the Kuffar, the one who don't want to fight Allah. You see, Egypt was beautiful before Islam. And look what happened to Islam came. Look what happened. What happened? What, where it was Egypt and what, it, what Egypt is today? The grand opening, blah, 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 the la, 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 Akbar, you know. What is that, man? Oh. So, my friend, <clears throat> This is literally a hypocrite cult. How many women in Egypt, they call them the Vertiti, Kiliobetra. <laughs> Actually, the most popular name in Egypt, I don't want to say the word in English, but it's the equal word to vagina. You know what I'm talking about. The one start with P. P. This is the most popular name for women in Egypt. Actually, there's a very famous actor her name starts with P, which is the vagina. Right? We have Abdul, he's saying to us, Christian Prince, you blame the Muslim for violence. Read for us Luke 19, 27, Abdul Potato, Muta boy. You see, you Muslim, you say to us, where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me, that verse. Because Jesus here, this is in the judgment day. He will come as a judge. Even your stupid prophet, he says, he will come as a judge. And the judge do, what judge do? Do you know what judge do? He send the one who deserve to be executed to execution. The one who go to heaven, they go to heaven. So you idiot, you are saying to us, read. And this guy, by the way, he come, he changed his name. He come back, he will post the same thing. The same guy. <laughs> and look read for us 1927 you don't you want to learn like read the one before it and then, no 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 just this one because here it says that jesus would come as as as, as lord with with the glory of his angels <laughs> his interest in is only 1927 don't read 26 don't read 25 don't read 24 that is not what i don't want to read that okay please don't don't go there uh, you know, just a 27, right? Oh boy. Cowards, potatoes. Your God, Muhammad, he attacked nations just for the sake of vagina. It's not even for God. Your God, Muhammad, he says, attack the Romans so you can get the blonde girls. Here the verse you are quoting for me, you coward. This is Jesus ordering his angels, saying to them, bring them, those who disobey me. Hmm. Bring them. Not anyone who says to me, Lord, Lord. We don't want to read that, right? Anyway, potatoes. So here you notice that Muslims are really hypocrite people. Actually, I just received a message from a Muhammad and Abdul. Let me give you an idea what he sent me in Skype. 
And by the way, my Skype is open in case a Muslim would like to contact us. Everything in Islam is a cult. Read what this guy he just said to me. <clears throat> His name is Bini Hashim. You know, the funny you call yourself Bani Hashim, and this is the most corrupt family ever. This is why they work for the Mossad and they work for the CIA, starting from the King of Jordan. Don't be fooled by the name. I am also relative to Prophet Screw him. I mean, what kind of a Muslim he called Prophet Screw? S-C-U? What is that? I just wanted to let you know that you cannot attack Islam based on liberal standard made by European just 100 years ago. Potato Abdul, who attack Islam based in any European standard. Actually, we are against European standard. And actually, uh, you know, when a Muslim, he says, uh, according to European standard, you can't attack Islam based in that. <laughs> Abdul, when we have a God, you don't remember which one he created first, we laugh at Islam. When we have a prophet, he is a decent man, but he is a child molester. We laugh at Islam. When we have a prophet, he teach people that any woman she want to give herself to the prophet so he can F her. We laugh at Islam. So you are talking about liberals. Liberals are more conservative than Muslims. All your religion is a hippie religion. Isn't it your prophet who taught you to do muta? Isn't it this is what the hippie is about? And he continues saying, just because you live in liberal democracy, standards doesn't mean we have to do the same. <laughs> but Abdul, just to let you know, potato, the one who protect Muslims uh, believe in those democracy is Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Trust me. You see, I cannot even collect donation here. Why? Because YouTube don't allow me. But if I'm a Muslim, I will have. I never saw one Muslim they take the donation down from him. So those liberals, my friend, they are with you in the same underwear. We just saw how your sister Mimi Hijab inviting an atheist to attack a Christianity, and you know, in the process, he got Muhammad busted. It is you who side with atheists, and atheists decide with you. They are against us, not against you. So you are a hypocrite again. And then he says, everyone want to fight us Muslims. The atheists want to fight us. Christians, Jews want to fight us. This is because you kuffar are jealous. Yeah, because we are jealous. Allah will make your penis endless. And we are so jealous to the point we cannot say a sentence to become a Muslim. I mean, do you see how easy to become a Muslim? Do you see how easy? We are jealous. If we are jealous, you idiot. We say a sentence and we get all what you have. And actually, I will get more blessings supposedly because I used to be Christian. Do you see how much jealous? Ah, maybe we are jealous because you do muta. Maybe we are jealous because you drink camel urine. Maybe we are jealous because, uh, you know, you have, uh, 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 I mean, uh, the technology and you have the intelligence. And you know, you are the one who would come with everything. Your prophet, he come with the vaccine of everything. He says the Najla seed, the Najla seed have cure for everything. So obviously we are jealous. And then he says, Christian, we was meant to die because it is fake and has no laws. Where are the Christian kingdoms? Hey, Abdul, all the, all the kingdoms and the worlds are the Christian kingdoms, including yours. Shall I prove it to you? All the kingdoms in the world are a Christian kingdoms because everything dated in this earth is based on Jesus. Your salary, your computer, your time, and your clock, everything. Even the medicine you take, look at the cover, you will see the date of Jesus. So all kingdom in the world, they go by Jesus, not by your stupid Muhammad. And about kingdoms, says, where is the Russian and the Ethiopian kings? Where is the Christian Christ Adam? <laughs> Abdul? The Russian is there, as I know, and they are occupying many Islamic countries already, as I know. I, uh, the Russian is gone. You know what about the American? More than 35, 36 Islamic countries are under the control of America. Literally, we have base everywhere. 
Where is the Muslim kingdom? Where is your basis? Do you have any basis in any Christian country? Do you Muslims have an army base in any Christian country? No, it's the opposite. Who is the one protecting Saudi Arabia? The American. And not just a few weeks ago, we saw how you Muslims running in rush to kiss the shoes of the Jews. So here you see how silly and how stupid their argument. And then he said, uh, this is the last part, let me show you. Uh, I have to take the two copy, hold on. Because the message is long. Name one Christian nation, you cannot even find one. My friend, nations, Christian nations is the Christians and they are exist in the heart of the Middle East. If we go right now and we check how many Christians are in United Arab Emirates, we will find that they are way more than the population of the Muslims in Emirates. The same as in Kuwait, the same as in Qatar. Just to remind you. Same time, when we speak about name one Muslim Christian nation, what about your name for me, one Muslim nation? None of you practice Sharia Allah, not even Saudi Arabia. When the last time the Christian they paid jizya in Saudi Arabia? None. Saudi Arabia, as I know, they open theaters. Now they have a bikini beach, tourism, women wearing short, and women they drive their cars, and everybody listen to music. But this is not what Islamic nation is about. Islamic nation, to be an Islamic nation, is a nation who practice the Islamic law. As long as not a single one of you, even Taliban, they are begging the American to come back. Even Taliban. Even Taliban, they are begging the Chinese to come to Afghanistan. This is reality. So when a Muslim they speak about Islamic nation, nothing left of Islam since the time of Muhammad. What we have now is something totally different. The Muslim jeans, the Muslim fashion, the, the belly dancing. You know, if I go right now and I type the word Ma'laya, hmm? How did you like when I exposed you two days ago? Yeah, hey, Abdullah, you exposed me two days ago very well. Aren't you the one who called me? And uh, <laughs> this guy from Indonesia, is that the guy's guy? <laughs> Why you don't call me now, Abdullah? Call me so we can laugh. If we go right now and we type the word Ma'laya, just the word Ma'laya, we will find that every Islamic countries, the, 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 the top notch, prostitutes countries in the world way beyond Thailand but those people you know they speak too much about honor but there's no honor if I type right now in YouTube Mawlid you know Mawlid usually is the birthday of Muhammad let us try let me let me find you something I can't even show because it's disgusting If I play it, people will vomit. Uh, Abdullah, you know, text me so we can laugh. We need a comedy. <clears throat> this is this is what they do in the street of Egypt. Shall I zoom in? I'm not going to play because it's really stupid and disgusting. Huh? Let us see. Hold on. Let us put the right word. Uh, and you will not find any sheikh upset. Hmm. 
This is Egypt, my friend. This is Egypt. I can't even play for you. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. This is Egypt. Naked women on the stages. Literally naked. Look at this. This is Egypt. This is halal. This is not secretly. This is in the street. They open, they make a stage in the street. Everybody is welcome to watch. This is not private party. Don't think this is like the club. This is in the street in Egypt. This is in the street in Egypt. This is in the street of Egypt. Same. This is Egypt, my friend. I just searched for two words. Yet nobody speak about honor and dignity and they are Islamic nation. Egypt is like a hundred million. This is the biggest, supposedly they call themselves Arab, the biggest Arab nation who is a Muslim. Shall I take you to Indonesia? So we can see the nightclubs there. So they talk too much about honor, about dignity, but how much they have of it. Let us see the Abdul who is texting me. This is love my Allah. But isn't it, this is the same guy who <laughs> love my Allah. Hello. Yo, what's up? What happened to your teeth? Stop. I see you like me too much. Either you speak like a man or I will dump you in the garbage. You want to speak like a man or you are a kid? Why Why are you making fun of Muslims, man? I'm not making fun of Muslims. It's you who is making fun of you, yourself. <clears throat> You know, uh, let me ask you, there are Zakir Naik about having fun, as long as you mentioned the word fun. He said, uh, they said to him, well, uh, music is haram, art is haram, chess is haram, so what is halal? How we can have fun? Do you know what the answer is? Yeah, what it is. He says that uh, it's, it's the, you can have fun only what is lawful by Allah. So I'm asking you now, what is lawful by Allah to have fun? If your music is not fun and it's not, not it's forbidden, Art is forbidden, you know, singing is forbidden, uh, chess is forbidden. So what, what do you Muslim do for fun then? For fun, we can uh, do some sports. Oh, this is like, for fun. Like what? Yeah. Like what? Belly dancing? Like, like belly no, dancing? Like, like whoever, like the videos you are showing, those are filthy people. Uh, and you are not filthy? I'm not. Uh, I'm not like them who publicly sin. Okay, so you do it perfect, like privately. You don't do it publicly. Why do you want to know what I do? Okay, I'm, I'm asking you now. About... Do you do muta? I don't do that. Why not? Isn't it fun <laughs> to rent a woman for sex? Is that filthy or this is decent? You 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 ask me what halal to have fun. Okay, so I'm, I'm telling asking you. you do you like... do do you do muta? This is Islamic halal uh, fun. Do you rent women for sex as your prophet you order you? He he then forbid as well, okay? Explain to us if it uh, uh, why he forbid it was it was it bad? He, uh, he forbid it. I, okay, why he uh, forbid it? How he promoted? How he ordered it? And then why he forbid it? I don't have too much knowledge on that. So you are the one who exposed me, but in two minutes, in two minutes, you have no idea. Is that what you do? I, Is that what you did I, last time I, and, and, and the time before it and the time before it? Each time I ask you a question, you say I do not know, and then you go and chat and you say I expose you. Yeah, I exposed you. Okay, then answer, came. idiot. Answer. Why your prophet he allow you to do muta? How in the world he is a decent man, as you claim, as you Muslim claim, and then he allow you to rent your sister to someone else? How much, by the way, you charge when you do muta? There's like a uh -oh. Isla Islamic uh, price, or it's up to you. I don't know what they uh, used to do. 
Well, can you ask your like somebody from your family if how much the the charge these days? Uh, you can ask Shia actually. You know. What's what, what do you mean, ask Shia? You are not a yeah, Shia. Because, because because I think they do that. Yeah, Shia, they do that. True, and the Muslim Sunnis do that, but they should just change the name. Today they have uh, something called Al Urfi, which no, there is no witnesses. They have Zawaj a friend, which means <laughs> marry a friend, which means you don't take her home. You take her to the hotel. You do boom boom, and everybody go in his direction. So you Muslim Sunni do the same, but you change the name for it. So why your private he allow prostitution? This is prostitution. You rent a woman for a day or two, and you pay her. You have to pay her. So why he allow that? Tell us. Like, I don't know why he allowed that at the time, but uh, eventually Allah said, like, even even alcohol was permissible, right? But yeah. uh, it was forbidden slowly, slowly, just like the same with Musa. That's how it's it forbidden goes, slowly, slowly. Okay, can you show me where it's forbidden slowly, slowly? No, I'm not saying like, I'm just giving you an okay. example. Okay, is alcohol like, bad or good? Yeah, it's bad. It, it has damages. Are you sure it is bad? Yes, because my Lord said there is more harm in it than benefit. Your your Lord, He says that. Yeah. I don't know, but I know that your Lord, He says the opposite. Here we go, chapter sixteen, verse number mm. sixty-seven. Your God, Allah, He claimed that alcohol is a miracle of His own. Okay. It's a great benefit, and it's a it's a sign from Allah. When <clears throat> when somebody gets drunk, this is Allah making a miracle. Read it. <clears throat> and from the fruits of dead farms and graves. I can't see the full full verse, you know. You can open uh, in your uh, you know in your phone, open chapter sixteen, verse number sixty seven. Don't be lazy. Yep, you are you yep, are the genius right. guy. You're you are from Indonesia, right? No, no, no. You are from where India. Are you? We are what? from where from India? Yeah, yeah. Okay, just get some curry. You know, that will speed your phone. Go ahead, read. You said chapter sixteen? Chapter sixteen, verse sixty seven. Okay, wait, wait. <clears throat> and from the fruits of the palm trees and grape wines you take intoxicant and good provision indeed in that is a sign for a people who reason <clears throat> yeah mm, well yeah what so you know my god is saying you guys make it uh, make uh, that drink from uh dead palms and grapes so allah is saying you you see the sign what how sign? you can make, make stuff so if somebody if somebody get a drunk this is a miracle from allah no <clears throat> it's it's saying about uh, how how great grapes and dead palms are yeah but it says this is a sign for people who have wisdom mm. Mm. this is a sign this is a miracle the one who have wisdom will see it is that what it says in the tafsir? Huh? In the tafsir, is that what it says? Uh, you Muslims, what's wrong with you? I mean, you are the Abdul who can expose me, and you are asking me what tafsir says? What happened I, to you? You feel I weak can, now? What happened? I come can on. just expose you. Come on, come on. on. Yeah, you expose me. Yeah, you can expose all, all of you Muslims expose me. Yeah, <clears> this is why Muslim leave Islam, because you Muslim expose me. So, what kind of God he claimed that making wine is a miracle of his own? And what kind of God he says alcohol is a great is goodly provision I have to see you know I, I have to see why he said that uh, you have to see are you going to talk to Allah or somebody else uh, but I want to ask you something do you love me do you what do you love me and Muslims do you love me you are a man yeah, I don't do love men you know I, li I, I like no, women no, not not like that I'm saying do you love me and do you love Muslims well, I, you know, I love every human being. I believe everybody to be safe. It's not about just Muslims or non-Muslims. Anyone who, you know, God, he created him. 
So we believe that we are brothers in humanity and all of us, we are at the end of the day, we are children of God. So, so for me, you are just a lost person and maybe you are younger than me. So I will say you are my younger brother. I have nothing against you, except <clears throat> you are following stupid Muhammad. You do know that we have reasons why we follow him. You do know that, right? You, you, you don't talk from your nose. Talk from your mouth. What you have, you have, you have reason to what? You do know that we have reasons that to follow my prophet. What is the reason? Here we go. Your prophet saying to you that it's a good provision to drink alcohol. Why he changed his mind? How come at that time when he said that it was a great alcohol was wonderful. You don't have to praise it. I mean, if he is in the future, slowly, slowly, as you said, he is going to prevent people from drinking. Well, he don't need to praise it. Here he was praising it. Hmm? I, have to say, but I, I, will, I will read about it, you know. Yeah. Why said that? Hmm. And I want no, he's to a hypocrite. When, uh, when Muhammad... You know, Muhammad, uh, when he gets sick, he cannot drink no more. He said, I, you know, stop drinking. And people, they start making fun of Muslims too. You know, you know that the Muslims used to go to the mosque and all of them, they are drunk, including Muhammad. Correct? And when the people, they, they start making fun of Muhammad and say, look at his followers. So Muhammad, he made a verse saying, oh, don't go to the mosque when you are drunk. Like what? Don't go to the mosque when you are drunk? Uh, uh, are you like... Uh talking from uh, Sahih sources like no this is the Quran from... this is the Quran no no I'm not talking about that I'm saying since you just claimed that my prophet was drunk can you show me that hmm. well we can show you uh, tons of hadith no problem here we go okay I want to read something like that hmm. <clears throat> here we go what is the word uh, uh, wine in Arabic? Do you know? Uh, I don't know. You go search in uh, you know search in YouTube and you will see Zakir Naik speaking about Nabid. Nabid. Here it says that how they ca they they were making Nabid for Muhammad. Even Muhammad he was teaching them how to make Nabid. It says Khamr. Nabid is a Khamr. You can go right now to the dictionary and see Nabid is a Khamr. Nabid is a khamr. Yeah, yeah, hmm. let me pass. Huh. <clears throat> he drink in the morning, he drink at night, he drink, you know, three days a week. In this hadith. Oh, it says non-intoxicating. Well, who said so? This is Nabid. How it can be intoxicating if it's not if it's Nabid? This is what the Muslims saying here. Nabid, it says Nabid. Do you say Nabid? Here we go. Go to call Zakir Naik and tell him what Nabid mean. Go right now. All those hadith, look how many. Okay, uh, can you show me the hadith where my prophet drank it? Okay, is it? You, you Muslims are really weird. We have verses in the Quran. Here it says they make him, they give him wine in the morning and afternoon, at night. So he, what he do with it? He wash with it? No, since you did, uh, since you said my prophet was drunk in the mosque with his companions, you know, I want to see that. But the Quran says that. Where he does the Quran, Allah says. Go, go in the mosque and drink wine. Where no, it doesn't that? say go to the mosque, drink wine. It says don't go to the mosque when you are drunk. Which yeah, mean they, don't. Which it, mean no, are, it does not, which, which it mean does not he did not forbid them from drinking. He says don't go to pray when you are drunk. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. It, so, it says, so you say, even do you say, here. do you say, don't go to the mosque when you are drunk unless they are drunk? It does not say mosque, it says Salah. Well, what are you praying in the bathroom? Any, uh, my prophet said this whole earth, uh, my Allah has given. So if the whole earth is a, is a, is a, is a message for me, so why he have uh, the Kaaba then? That's mean the Kaaba is a fraud. But mosques are made 
for just for the purpose to remember Allah. Ah, for remember. Okay, it's a yeah. Okay, mm. so it's like to remember. Yeah, I see. So and I want to ask you. So so uh, hold on, uh, hold on. I, 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 let me. So your prophet when he made the verses that don't go to the mosque when you are drunk. He was talking to nobody. Nobody was drinking, or Muslims were drinking, including him. Not including him. They were companions of my prophet mm. who, who had the habit of drinking, and mm. he used to get, punish them with slashes, you know. Mm. Uh, and uh, uh, once a companion said, "Lanatullah on this person, he 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 is the companion of the prophet, yet he drinks. That means my prophet does, did not drink." Mm. And and so my prophet said, "Oh Umar, don't say, don't curse him like that." Indeed, he loves Allah and His Messenger. Hmm. You see, he, he, my prophet said he, he's getting punished for that, who, for for who? drinking. Yeah, but this is after he forbid it. But oh! all, the, all the time, all the time, all the time, he was, you know, he was drinking. Why, why Allah? You see, you are avoiding. You are talking like a kid, but I will go with you because you are the only kid we we have for now for fun. Why Allah? He says alcohol is good. If it is bad anyway, you just said that your prophet he forbid it and even he cursed somebody for drinking wine, correct? My prophet didn't curse somebody, a companion was cursing that drunk person. You live in the companion of prophet. No, your prophet he cursed you. Are, you're a stupid liar again. I have to call you stupid. Okay, you can call me whatever you want. No, I'm not calling you. This is who you are. Because your prophet, he cursed all over. Your prophet even said that the woman she take hair from her face, she is cursed. Just for taking hair from her face. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know of a hadith where uh, let, let, us, said, let us focus now with the, with the wine. So did your prophet drink wine or not? And I, I don't think he drink ever drunk it. Uh, so what we will That's do? Why I told you to show me proof. Here we go. I will show you. In the front of you. Let's see. I thought today you were gonna talk about you know Ram and ten interesting. We talk facts about, about Ram. Ram is your God, as you say. Here oh, really? Here we go. This is your prophet. We were with the prophet. May Allah be upon him, and he asked for something to drink. A man from the company asked. Should we give him Nabid between two bracket a drink from the date? But still, this is this is a khamr, you know, they use the fruits to make khamr alcohol. He replied, Yes. The man he went quickly and brought a cup of Nabid. He bought what? Do you see it? Can you read? Uh yeah, yeah, we're to okay. read it. So he bought we were... he, he brought for him a cup of what? Remember the word Nabid, right? Yeah. Okay. Between two brackets, it says drink made of date. Remember that. To drink. He replied, yes. The man quickly brought a cup of Nabid. So again, the same, nothing. The Messenger of Allah said, why did you not cover it up? Even you put in a piece of wood on it. This is your prophet teaching them how to make Nabid. This is number one. Let us go to the second one. We were with Allah Messenger and he asked for water. A person said, Allah Messenger, may we not give you Nabid to drink? Again, Nabid. Do you see the word Nabid? You see it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The Prophet, the Muslim, they call him holy. He said, Yes, you may. So he told him, I will give you Nabid. He did not say any other word. Then the person went out speedily and brought a cup containing Nabid. Contain what? Mm, Nabid. Okay. And then, what your prophet said? Why did you not? Look, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, I just discovered something. <laughs> the Arabic is different from the English. Here it says, "فَقَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ إِلَّا خَمْرَتُهُ Anything except the wine. <laughs> 
except the alcohol. So they took it off. They took it off totally from the hadith, from the original hadith. Here it says, even if it, it, it was with wood, he said, then he drank it. But here in Arabic, it says something different. And actually, yeah, khamr, you know what khamr, right? Yeah. Yeah, and he drank it. And he drank it. They took the word khamr from there. And they continue saying, even with with a wood, what wood? Khamratahu is a wood? Khamr. <laughs> Uh, let us see. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Yes, Rabahu. Okay. You know, brother Rahu. From Sakwa. Let us see this hadith. How many times he drink it, your prophet? They make the nabith for him and he drink it in the evening. He drink it. Uh, here it says in the evening, let us see. And here it says he drink it the day and the next day and the following day and when the evening of the third day he would drink it and give some to others all of this is about nabid even aisha there's a hadith about your prophet he was doing wudu with nabid really yeah Can you, can you give me that so I can show Muslims that? Aren't you a Muslim? You are saying show Muslim. I thought you are a Muslim. I am a Muslim, but uh, I, uh, by Muslims, I mean knowledgeable Muslims. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let us see. Here we go. I'm sure if he can have even shower with it, he will shower with it. And we will not show you even the Da'if one. Uh, let's see here. Let's go straight. There we go. On the night of the jinn, the messenger of Allah said to him, Do you have water for ablution? He said, No, I have nothing but nabid. Do you see it? No, I can't. Uh, wait. I have nothing but nabid in a vessel. He said, Good date, uh, <clears throat> a pure water. Maybe. Wait, let me read. Oh, yeah, there's the, no harm in mixing too. <laughs> on the night of the jinn, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said to him, Do you have water for ablution? He said, No. I have nothing but uh, some nabit in a vessel. Uh, he said, Good deeds and pure water. Uh, wait. There is no harm from the mixing of the two. So he performed ablution with it. Okay. Hmm. So? You know, my prophet is approving that, right? What? My prophet is saying it's pure water, good date. What he's saying, it's made from what? It says it's a pure water and made it from the mixing of the uh, water and the. He said no, good that, that, no, actually, there's no mixing here. See, he says Nabid. Nabid, simply, when you make it, uh, you you bring the uh, the fruit and you cover it and uh, I think they add a little bit of water with it 
and then after they cover it, uh, the, the bacteria will start uh, the same as they do make wine these days, you know, not a big difference. But the heat will, will make it uh, uh, active and then alcohol will, you know, will come to existence. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Hmm. Uh, you know, I read it uh, in the Quran. It says that uh, you know, you Jews and Christians find uh, the find it written that my prophet companions were mentioned in the Bible. Something right? You to uh, for sure is mentioned in the Bible because they are child molester. For sure, the Bible will mention them. Yeah, the companion of the prophet mentioned in the Bible too. Yeah. Not only the prophet now, now we have Mickey Mouse is there too. Yeah. You know, you Muslims are very weird. I mean, we have a sick, stupid idiot. You want to put him everywhere. Zakir Naik, he found Muhammad in the Hindu scriptures. The that he found him in the Old Testament. You now, you found the companion of Muhammad in the Bible. But don't you no. think this is stupid? How the Bible will write about the companion of Muhammad? If the Bible came long before it, is, is are they important? The companion of Prophet, like who? Who is the companion of Omar? No, I think uh, Allah describes them like an example how it is mentioned in the Bible. Something uh, oh, I read okay. it, but yeah. hmm. Allah gave an example of how companions are mentioned in the Bible. Hmm. So I really wish that the Bible that Allah is talking about existed, you know. Hmm, I see, I see, I see. Well, you know, the Muslim, they can't find anything they want. Muhammad, I found him in cartoon too. I found him in Mickey Mouse. I found him in Zucchini. Muslims, they find everything. They look at the cloud, they see Allah. They look at the, the open watermelon, they say the name of Allah or Muhammad. They found Muhammad everywhere. What we can do? So now you call me, what do you want to say to me? Or this, or what do you want to say? You are making us asleep. Do you have something to us to say to us about your religion? Yeah. What do you want to say? Uh, uh, is the story uh, of angels uh, is same in the Bible? Like when they said, Oh Allah, why are you creating Adam? Don't you know he will cause a lot of mischief no. in the land? Okay. Muhammad, he just took one statement where God, he taught Adam all things and Muhammad he make it he taught him all the names and then he asked the angels so Muhammad he have his own bacteria is making his own alcohol as usual and uh, uh, I saw your thumbnail you said uh, 10 interesting facts of Ram so I, I wanted to know what you were mentioning about him I did not say anything about him facts about him. the Quran there's no fact about it because the Quran isn't a fact there's not a single thing in the Quran can be a fact. Not a single uh -huh. page. What fact? You know, when your God Allah yeah. He promised you endless penis, is that a fact? When the Quran, when the Quran, we do not even know who wrote the Quran. Who is who is the one who's talking in this Quran? Who, who who is the one who brought the messages to Muhammad? Who is the witnesses? Nobody. So when a Muslim he speak about a fact, there's no fact. It is a fact. Uh -huh. Yes, there, there are many facts in the Quran. Okay, like what? Give me one. Like every soul shall taste death. Everyone? Every what? Uh, every soul shall taste death. That is a fact. Every soul shall taste this. Is that something in you? I mean, this year Quran brought something like, don't all people know that everybody would die? And also, and uh, hold on. the Surah. If, every, if everybody is going to taste death, did Jesus taste death? He will taste that when he will come back. Okay, uh, where it says he will uh, he will come back and he will die. My prophet said that. Where it says that. Uh, in the hadith, you want. So me your to... prophet he said that your your God did not say that. Of course, my uh, Allah explained that to my prophet. Where Allah explained if if your prophet he receive explanation is going to be Quran. That and like other knowledge of how he uh, receive it did, did your god allah send him a different book like you see hadith al-qudsi right uh, even if it's hadith, what hadith qudsi mean to us uh, 
i mean my uh, understanding is that is part of knowledge that allah sends down that is not part of quran but it is holy right yes it okay. is very holy so you just admitted that the quran is not complete because if it is if there is a holy hadith that's mean it's equal to the quran and it's, why is that in the quran because that these are like direct messages which allah told uh, well, to my muhammad prophet. he never spoke to his god show me what it says muhammad ever spoke to allah didn't uh, my prophet spoke to allah when he went to seven heavens you show me where it says he spoke to them on sidratul muntaha well i want to see how he spoke to him where when he went to sidratul it, muntaha he did not talk to him did he uh, oh so like I, if Muhammad I, he talked to him, that's mean why the, why you Muslim call Musa's Karimullah the one who spoke to Allah. That's mean Muhammad is Karimullah too. Uh, where, where, no. it says, where it says he spoke to him. Like uh, then who who gave him that fifty prayers? How did uh, he receive? You tell that? me. I don't know. Stupid religion. Muhammad never spoke to Allah. Are you saying that Muhammad he heard the voice of Allah? Uh, I mean, well, I think he was talking on Sidratul Muntaha. Look with here, Allah. this hadith he says, it says so he revealed to him, to his whispers, whatever he revealed, what his whisper, whatever he revealed. Did Allah whisper to Muhammad? Indeed, he saw him at a second near Sidratul Muntaha, so he revealed to his. Or whatever he revealed, was a distance of two ball lengths or less that the Prophet ﷺ saw him. Is this about Gabriel? Like you see, you Muslims are very, very weird. You are the one who said to me fact, right? And now, now you are confused. You yourself, you do not know who is talking. Remember, you are the one who said to me facts. Allah, He gave him. Now you are saying, is that Jibreel? Do you see how no, the no. Do you see? Okay. Okay, let me ask you. Just make it simple. Is it a fact that Muhammad he went to heaven? Does anyone saw him going to heaven? No. Okay. So how is how is that a fact? Uh, if there's because... anyone, if there's anyone saw Muhammad receiving verses. Yes, my Aisha salamullahi alaiha. You give me the, give, this is a lie. Show me where Aisha. She said uh, she saw Muhammad when he was receiving verses. She used to see the extensive sweat on my prophet. When so what? If, so if your prophet is farting, that is a revelation. Revelation, according to you Muslims, a man he come to him is Jibreel, not he Muhammad. He sweat. Uh, on when it was revealed uh, to him, he, he like Gabriel used to reveal it to him, so he used to memorize it. Yeah, and but Jibreel used, appear yeah. in front of him, right? So how Aisha she did not see Jibreel, Muhammad he see Jibreel. And why he sweat anyway? Not only he sweat, he snore. Not only he snore, he have muscles problem. He starts screaming. Your prophet actually he receives Quran as a sound of a bell. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So how? Why? Why Allah giving him sound sound of a bell? Uh, uh, like he can hear it, uh, like. Uh, a sound of bell only he can hear it no this is another question why Allah giving him Quran as a sound of a bell I don't know like that's Allah's choice did Allah give Muhammad Arabic Quran or give him music look I don't know why that sound was okay you are the one who mentioned fact let us see the fact as long your prophet he says that angels will never enter a house have a sound of a bell. So how Allah sending an angel speaking to him in a sound of a bell. Angels hate bells. As you see, this is the hadith. Angels will never enter a house, which there is a small bell. Your God, Allah, his angels have phobia from the Christian bell. So how he have a phobia from bell, and he will never enter a house, have a bell, and then your prophet receive, Quran as a sound of a bell. And then how the Quran and the sound of a bell became Arabic? Did Muhammad, he took it to translator? Your prophet says the bell is a musical instrument of Satan. 
So who is the one who do play with bell, make sound of a bell? Shaitan. So your prophet receive shaitan, not Muhammad, not God. Because the musical instrument of Satan is the bell. Read it in front of you. Yeah. Angels do not accompany a prophet. Yeah, the bell is the musical instrument. Okay, so why your why your God he sent him Muhammad? A musical instrument of shaitan. And this is the hadith. The divine, the inspiration, is the hardest on him. Okay, what happened? The angel come to me in the shape of a man. Okay, what he do? The angels sometimes come to me with a voice which resembles the sound of a ringing bell. <laughs> so how the bell is an instrument of shaitan and then obviously Muhammad was receiving satanic verses. Uh, you, you you told me to that uh, prove that he went to heaven, right? You want to go back now to jump? Focus with me here. I want, guys, do you want to prove that he went to heaven? Do you have a proof? Give me the proof. Listen, listen to this idiot. He have a proof now. Okay, give us the proof. When he came back, the the kuffar were making fun of him. Yeah, and they were saying. Okay, if you are truthful, tell me how Majid Al-Aqsa looks like. There, so was, no, there he, was no Aqsa, and people they left Islam, read the interpretation. Many people left Islam when he started talking. They left Islam. So he got they, they left Islam, the Muslim, they left Islam when he started saying what he is saying, they left Islam. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Secondly, uh, Muhammad, he used to go to uh, Bilad sham in, in a trade, right? He used to work for Khadija all his life. Mm. So he go there. If he did not go to the city of Jerusalem, he, he met many many people describe it for him. Do I need to go to Indonesia to know that Indonesia have uh, beautiful beaches? Describe for me Indonesia. There's beautiful beaches there. Oh, okay. What about uh, Indonesian people? Oh, they are you know they are uh, they are Asian. Uh, okay. okay. Describe for me how Asian look like. I will tell you. Well, Asian look like Asian. <laughs> This is the it, proof you have uh, for me. Uh, Let uh, me ask it, you, hold on. It's just to show everybody how stupid what you said. When Muhammad, he went to seven heaven, is it true that he ride a donkey? Yeah, mule. Okay, how he ride a mule and the distance from earth to heaven, according to the Quran, it take 1,000 years just to go. And this is for the mm. angels. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I'm hearing. Yeah, uh, I'm asking did, you. If did you finish, if the angels will take one thousand years just to go, which means to go back two thousand years. That's the miracle, but it it what took miracle? just seconds. This is the maximum of, speed because you have an angel with him, and you Muslim, you have articles about it saying that the angels of Allah is made from light, and then they calculate the light and they come with miracle, which is fiction. Read with me carefully. The angels of Allah, they they are in control. It take them 1,000 years of our time just to go. So Angel Jibreel is riding with Muhammad. So Jibreel cannot pass the 1,000 year time zone. How oh, Jibreel went with Muhammad? Huh? Then how did Gabriel came to the earth so many times? How did he Exactly. Came? That another stupid fact. If it's going to take him 1,000 years just to go, and then 1,000 years to come back, then how he was coming up and down, up and down every day? That's why I I think it, uh, for Gabriel, mm -hmm. I think he, he can go like very fast. Oh, okay. So Gabriel, uh, Gabriel is very fast. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because yeah. He, uh, okay. He has but this to is deliver. the one in charge. This is the one in charge. This verse is about Gabriel. Okay. Wait. Let me read it. He uh, arranges a fair from the heavens to the earth then it will go up to him on uh, in one day oh this is something else though oh this is something else well something else what this one like uh, this is uh, talking about like uh, thousand years uh, like same in the Bible, it says right in God's one day is thousand yeah, years. Something. Uh, Muhammad is taking a stating a stating a verse from the Bible. You are right, but that Muhammad he changed it. Now it doesn't make the same. 
because the, uh, when the Bible speak about one day for God is like a thousand year for time, the Bible is not saying really it's one thousand year. It's saying it's a time mean nothing for God. For you is so slow for him it's nothing. Here it is literally one thousand year because this is how they manage the earth for him. His manager is the angels, starting with Jibreel. He is the one who keep coming up and down. He is in charge. I think it's it's how you described it. You know, I think you described it perfectly. Hmm. Uh, like in the Bible as well. I think that's how it no, is in the no, Quran. No, because here he arranges every affair from the heaven and uh, uh, to the earth. Then its affair will go up to him. Do you see? This is not just about timing. This is about timing and distance. And that will measure speed at the end. Because in order to get the speed, you need time and distance, and then we can find the speed. Same, we can find any of them if we have to. So if we have the distance and we don't have the time, we have the speed, we can find what is the time. Very simple math. So here he's talking about going up to him. So they are moving from point A to point B. It takes them 1,000 years. From where? From the earth. To where? Mm. To the heaven. How Muhammad he went there? In a few hours and come back. And, uh, mm. okay, I will ask this too. I wrote this down. Yeah, you will ask this too another one. Uh, and then let us see. When your prophet, he arrived to the Kaaba, sorry, to the uh, Surat al-Muntaha, before he arrived, uh, the angels, they ask Jibreel, uh, who, you know, who is this, correct? Uh, uh, I cannot hear you. Can you repeat that? The angels, when, when Jibreel, he came with Muhammad in the top of the flying donkey, they ask him, who is this? Yeah, yeah. He said Jibreel. Yeah. Why the angels cannot know, do not know who is behind the door? I think that is a protection, you know, because jinns try to hear stuff, so oh, the okay. gate of heaven is no, closed. No, that, that is false, because according to Quran, the genie cannot go to that point, because Allah will shoot their ass when they are going up in the sky. They will not alert to the door. With meteoroids? Huh? Like... You, you know, uh, uh, um, Muslims say um, meteoroids are mentioned in the Quran. Abdul, here it says that when a genie he tried to steal information from your God Allah, which is very funny, Allah will shoot his ass. And the Muslim, they made those verses based on the, their deception that this is about the atmosphere. So they say that we made the sky a protected roof, but they will not uh, you know, recite the rest of the verses the protected roof is about if, if a genie or a shaitan, he tried to go out of the earth, Allah will shoot his ass. So shaitan will not go to that door. He will never even reach that door. And here we need we need to ask ourselves too, how shaitan he can even spy at Allah? Let us say shaitan, he went up. I mean, is that how stupid Allah is? Anybody can spy at him? What do you mean shaitan, he can spy at him? You have a bad security. So we have to close the door. Uh, Remember, I mean, you I... are the one who said to me, there's many facts in Islam. Is that a fact? That if somebody tried to go out of the space, there's a space, Allah will shoot him by a fire? Is that a I... fact? I said to you, the, there are many facts in the Quran, but uh, you didn't let me finish and you went to something. Well, you are the one who mentioned fact. I'm asking you, is that a fact? If somebody go out of the earth, go into the sky, Allah will shoot him. Is that a fact? Uh... Yeah, I think that's the fact. So well, what is those spaceship they are going now, even it's not like they go just for fun these days. So what is this? We have even spaceship in the in, in the space 24 hours, seven days a week, 365 days a year. International spaceship. How come Allah did not shoot it? Because you see, there is a difference. We cannot see angels or Abdul, forget about the angels stop being stupid i'm asking you according to your quran allah he made the sky protected roof how he do that and he challenged the human and the genie to go out of the sky correct yeah okay 
He said, oh, ma'ashar al-jinni wal-ins, oh, people, the kind of human and kind of the genie. Okay, so now, try to go out of the zone of the earth, and you cannot. And if you if you try, Allah will shoot, shoot you. He challenged them. And nobody can go except the one who have a permission. Who is the one who have permission? The angels. So Allah, he challenged everybody. Can you go? We have somebody saying his name is Mullati Ibrahima Hanifa. Even your name is stupid because the word Hanif in Aramaic mean kafir, mean pagan. So when the Muslim they say we are Hanif because they are funny people copying without knowing. Hanif is not a believer in God. Hanif is somebody or the true God. Hanif is somebody is a mushrik, is a pagan. Oh, so Allah called Abraham. I'm not talking to you. Shut up now. You focus here. I'm talking to the idiot there. You focus here with this one. Can a human being go out of the zone of the earth or not? Beyond the zones of heaven and the earth, then pass. But you will never be able to pass except with authority. Uh huh. And who is the authority? The angels and Prophet Muhammad and Isa. Only. And and whoever Allah wills. Yeah, Allah never. He changed all mankind. That's it. It's already. Go read the interpretation. He changed all mankind. Nobody can go. And then he says, if you try, if you try, Allah will shoot you both with the flames of fire. Do you see it? Uh, wait. It takes time. Uh. Now we go to the idiot who is saying, that he is a this is a, a, a bad argument when a Muslim he called himself Hanif he is calling him himself Mushrik Ibrahim is not a Hanif because if he's a Hanif that's me he don't believe in the God of the Jews he believe in the God of the Aramaic then this is why the word Hanif is the one who is believing not in the true God the stupid Muhammad he told them I am a Hanif why? Because the, the kuffar, let us say, the enemy of Abraham, they were saying, he is a Hanif, which means for them, he's a kafir. <laughs> you see the stupid Muhammad? They were saying to Ibrahim, he's a kafir. Muhammad, he like it. He do not know what the word means. He says, Abraham, Abraham was a kafir. <laughs> it's like, oh, a, it's I, like a Muslim now. It's like Muslim now speaking to me in Arabic. They says, Christian prince is kafir. Then a guy who do not like this guy who's talking to me now, he doesn't know what kafir mean. So he said, Christian prince was kafir. <laughs> or let us say, uh, this guy, he heard the Arab saying to, to Muhammad, you are a kafir. He heard it. He said, okay, Muhammad was a kafir. <laughs> Dummy. So and look what he says. Actually sitting here, uh, uh, genuinely, making a dump argument. What a dump argument? What kind of God, he says, if you try to go out of the earth, I will shoot you, and we are already in the space. Go read the interpretation and laugh. Nobody can go except the prophets and the angels, and not only the prophet, the, the prophet which Allah only allowed. Isn't this a proof that Allah is a fraud? When Muhammad, he says that shaitan, he tried to spy at him. What does that mean? Shaitan is spying at Allah? Where, where shaitan he live? Uh, Abdul with me online, online. Skype. Where shaitan he live? Shaitan lives in your mind. Where, where shaitan he live? Where shaitan he live? Everywhere. Everywhere. So how he can spy at Allah? Is he in heaven? He can he can go over there, but no, but Allah will Allah okay, will hold on. Him. How he can go over there, and Allah He order him to go down. Are you saying to me when Allah He says to him, "Get down," His word is useless. I can just go against it. Wait, where did Allah said get down? Is not it Allah He order him and Adam to go down? Chapter 2, verse number 36. Chapter 2, verse number 38. Oh, it's all over. 
but you know chapter 7 verse number 13 chapter 7 yeah. verse 24 what's wrong with this religion chapter 20 verse 123 so Allah he ordered shaitan to get down and shaitan still he can go up so are you saying now I can go back to heaven even though Allah he ordered Adam to get out no 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 uh, like it, it, Sh shaitan what he can do he can just go until the gate now but he will be shot with missiles of Allah Ah, okay missiles high star war I let us uh, assume that but Allah he told him go down so how he can go up that's because mean, I, that's, me, that's mean he can go against Allah order and to Muslim you say if Allah wants something he say be is going to be here we go he said to him get down how, how come he's up Then the Satan made them sleep and got them out. Did he order him to go down into the earth specifically? Did he say go down to the earth? Okay, down all the way. When it says get you down, uh, is Allah telling uh, Adam and Satan? He said to him, get you down, both of them, Adam, oh, Eve, yeah. and Shaitan, between you, enmity, and yourself, on the earth. So Shaitan, he mislead them. Then Allah, he said, get down. He said to them all, get down, all of you, to where? To the earth. So how Allah, he ordered Shaitan to get down to the earth, and then Shaitan still can go up. Uh. Uh, he he tries to but I don't think he can what do you mean try to you just said he arrived to the first gate that's not trying he arrived already there there's five okay. centimeters between him and going in, inside this is heaven yeah. this is not in the earth no more then then I think I'm wrong mm. secondly and... when the angels they saw Jibreel and you said uh, because there is a security mm. uh, so the doors work against the angels too, those doors. Jibreel don't have a key. Yeah, he has to ask the angels to open the door. Uh, okay, so when he asked the angels to open the door, why they said, who is who is there? Can the angels fly and see from the top of the wall? Uh, that great, that gate, that is a very security, ah, you know. That's very, very security, yeah. uh -huh. yeah. Nobody can yeah. see through. Mm -hmm. So, see okay. Okay. So, the gate is very security. Cannot they make a hole in it so they can look with the eye? <laughs> nah, nah, that kind of stuff. They nah. don't have it. They are stupid. They don't know how to do that. Okay. So, uh, 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 is it usual, like, supposedly, when, when somebody comes to the door, like, is that usual that there is somebody, somebody passing by there every day? I mean, who can go to that door? Is that like normal? Somebody walk by. Knock at the door. The angels say, "Who is this? Maybe this is a, a delivery from Amazon." I mean, who's going to be there anyway? Yeah, angels. Angels will be there because we have multiple hadiths that angels come down yeah. to the earth. Okay. Okay, I will go with you. The angels they cannot know who is behind the wall because it's a very good security, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, how they knew that there is somebody with him? They did not look yet. Maybe my prophet was talking to Gabriel and they heard him. Oh, so Jibreel and Muhammad, they were talking and they heard them be before, right? No, no. After my uh, Gabriel said, I'm Gabriel. Uh -huh. Maybe my prophet talked to Gabriel and they knew that uh, Gabriel had somebody. Oh, uh, okay. And... Uh... Your prophet was talking, and now they knew that there is somebody. Hmm. And right, right. And then, there. okay, hold on. Jibril, he said, I am Jibril. What is the proof that he is Jibril? What if he is not? What kind of angel? They open the door. You said this is very good security. Yeah. Okay. And you said that maybe they heard your prophet, but did your Jibril, he said, open the door? Yeah. Okay. They didn't know the voice of Jibril? The angels, when they said to them, open the doors. The angels, they never heard his voice before? Uh, 
Look, new new angels are created every day by Allah. This is not the question. This is Jibreel. This is the most important angel for Allah, suppose in Islam. So this is Jibreel saying to them, open the gate. How and why they need to know who is this? Didn't they hear his voice? Is that like a, a normal voice like everybody? Maybe they don't know Gabriel. So how he came out? And this is their captain. This is the boss. Or, or maybe, you know, Allah told them to ask. You know, Allah gave them that rule that they have to follow. Okay. He, guys, Allah, he, all, he told them to ask. No problem. But Jibreel, he said to them, open the door. Why he did not say, I am Jibreel, open the door? Why he said, open the door? Obviously, you know, I cannot answer you. Hey, obviously, I thought you are the one who called me to get me busted. Let us continue then. Jibreel now, he said, open the door. They asking him, who are you? They did not recognize his voice. Maybe because he have a flu, you never know. Or maybe have a cocona, you never know. And maybe he drank so much coffee, you never know. We will let it go. But Jibreel, who is in the front of the front door, and now he's asking the door to be open and they ask him who is with you. They said Muhammad. How they knew who is this guy Muhammad? Who is Muhammad? Everybody knows who he is. So they do not know who is Jibreel, but they know who is Muhammad? Muhammad meaning, I think they, uh, uh, Muhammad, like they were told about him. Like, I cannot tell you why they knew him or anything like that, because uh -huh. I, I don't know. That is the knowledge of unseen. Oh, okay. Unseen. Yeah. Mm. All right. All right. When your prophet here arrived, let us continue. So the first door opened, second door, third door, third door, whatever door. And then he opened to a tree. And this tree, each branch of it is like a 100 year travel. Is that correct? Wait, let me read it where it said that. Not here. I'm asking you, don't you know? It's 100 year travel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know okay. that. And the leaves of this tree is made from gold and they look like the ears of elephants. Okay. Okay. Why? What do you mean? Why? 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 Why, why gold? Is your God a gold worshiper? Why he's a tree? He's a tree where his house is because he's a monkey, obviously why his tree is full of gold and then the tree hang on it uh, jewelries that's the beauty okay because... hold on don't you muslim you say that the christmas is pagan yeah okay why allah is decorating his tree that's how beautifully trees are made. Uh, this is another question. Why he is decorating his tree? For who? And what is the value of gold for him to decorate the tree? Is that is that a real tree or a fake tree? Plastic, maybe. That's a real tree. Real tree? Yeah. Okay. And uh, whenever I say, SubhanAllah, I will be humdi, SubhanAllah, I will get that too. But what do I like, say again what you say? Subhanallah wa bihamdi, Subhanallah al -Azim. What does that mean? I mean, this is the most stupid thing ever. What is that? Oh, you are telling praising God is stupid thing? Praising God? You are praising the tree now. We are talking about the tree. No, I said uh -huh, when, I we pray, when we pray, praise Allah like this. Yeah. I think there is a hadith where my prophet said, whoever says, uh, Subhanallah wa bihamdi, Subhanallah al -Azim. A dead palm tree will be planted in Jannah. Something. Okay, so now I say that I say that all the time. How many palm tree I will get? This is how stupid your prophet is. Your prophet, he says, if I the say one. Million your times, prophet, he said, the one who says Subhanallah one hundred times, he go to heaven. Is that true? No, that's not true. Okay, let's see. Just to show you it, how stupid your prophet says, is. It says Shut up. if we say that. Shut up! Don't say it's not true. Never say to Christian Prince, it's not true. Here we go. Tons of things like this. Here we go. I seek forgiveness for Allah. I repent to him. If he recite it 100 times in Arabic a day, he will go to heaven. Read. 
all of his garbage. Just saying 100 times. That does not mean Jannah is not this easy, okay? What is, this is easy. Here we go. Look, it says if you say Subhanallah, Walhamdulillah, even if your sin is more than the foam of the oceans, all your sin is gone. Read it. Yeah, those are minor sins. What does what is sin? It says all your sin. What minor sin? It says if you say that one hundred times, all your sin will be forgiven, even if it is equal to the ocean foam. Okay, so how will you explain that other hadith in which my prophet said? Your, 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 your prophet is a stupid. How in the world, if somebody say this 100 times, he will go to heaven, even his sin is one, is like, is like the form of the ocean. My prophet said, whoever contains himself, whoever does not do major sins, from Friday to Friday, his sins are forgiven. From your prophet, he keeps saying, Pupu, all, all of this is Pupu because this is a contradiction. What Friday to Friday? This is stupid. The guy he just told you, even if you're saying like the form of the ocean, just say this sentence 100 times. Are you blind? This is why you Muslim, you commit sin as you wish, you know, because you just go and say, either you kiss the black stone. If you touch the black stone, it's erase your sin. If you say Alhamdulillah 100 times, you know, your sin is forgiven. I mean, it's a, it's a joke. And uh, can you show me that verse in the Quran about Ibrahim was called Hanifa? You're a prophet because you do not know what Hanif is. Just to show you how stupid the one who made the Quran. Read this one with me and try not to laugh. Uh, let's see this one. Read this verse with me and tell me that your prophet is not stupid. Or say you that Ibrahim Ismail, Ishaq, Yaqub, and Al Asba, is it Al Asba? Yeah, the twelve, the twelve, the, the twelve tribes. Yeah, As Asbot. Uh, were Jews or Christians? Say, do you so, know better? So, or so Jacob is not a Jew. Isaac is not a Jew. Even their children are not Jews. Your God saying, hey, hey, are they Jews? <laughs> he got them busted. Have you ever heard of a stupid God? You do not know that those are the Jews. So if Jacob and Isaac are not Jews and the 12 sons of Jacob are not Jews, so what are the Hindu? When you're a stupid prophet, he keep calling them the children of Israel. Who is Israel? Uh, where, where is the word Hanifa in this? This is not in Hanif. Focus on me now. Just to show you how stupid your God is. Your God claiming he's challenging them. Are you saying that Ibrahim, how Ibrahim will be a Jew anyway? That's a stupid. This is really stupid. Secondly, he continues saying, Isaac and Jacob and their children are Jews <laughs> or Christians. Have you ever heard of a stupid God? You do not know who is the Jews? So and Arabic, by the way, it says Yahud, not Jews. Yahud. You know, this is how stupid this God is. So he do not know why Jacob, his name became Israel. 
He do not know that his children are children of Israel. He do not know that the children of Israel are Jews. And he is saying, are you saying that Isaac and Jacob and the twelve are Jews? <laughs> If you go to the books of the Jews, right away they will say to you that Isaac is the firstborn Jew. This is their books. I'm not. I'm not the rabbi. And Jacob is Israel. And those are his children. So if those children are not the Jews, so who are the Jews? Your God is a shish kebab. He have no idea what he's talking about. Are you there? Yeah, yeah. Can you go to that other verse? What other verse? About Hanifa. Hey, he's stuck with Hanif. Okay. Here we go. Hanif is not an Arabic word. This is why the Muslims are, you know, they, they thought it is something else. Uh, all those verses speak about Abraham. Uh, the sect of Ibrahim is Hanif. Uh, 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 Ibrahim, he was not a Jew, neither a Christian, but he was a Hanif. How stupid is that? <laughs> all right. Let us see. Uh, let us see here. Here it says, Say Muhammad, truly my Lord has guided me to the straight path, right religion, religion of Ibrahim, Hanif, i.e. the true Islamic monotheism. Do you agree with that? Wait, wait, please. Let me see. Okay. Say oh Muhammad, truly my Lord has guided me to the straight path, the right religion, the religion of Ibrahim, Hanifa. To believe in one God, to worship one God, and he was. Oh. Hanifa means, you said it means disbeliever? He is a disbeliever, he's a kafir. He's a, he is the one, uh, 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 you know, the same as the word kafir, literally. You know? So pagan. In, pagan. He's a, he's a, he's a, you in, know, uh, he's a pagan for, for, for the religion. Let us say, uh, uh, Abraham, he was worshipping stars according to Quran, correct? Uh, he was worshipping stars? Stars, the moons, this guy, he worshipped everything in his way. Don't you know? No, I don't know. Okay, this is, this is the Hanif. So Abraham, okay. in a certain time, he was a pagan, he was a Hanif. Wait, but Allah in that same verse didn't He say Wakana mina, uh, mina al-Mushrikin something Wakana. It says here, read carefully, that when he saw when he saw the the night when the night came, he saw a planet. He said, "This is my God." He worship him. And then he saw the moon rising. He said, "This is my God," and he worship him. Then he saw the sun. When he saw the sun, he liked it more. He said, this is my God, this is my Akbar. Akbar is a sun, the God of, you know, the moon God is Allah. Akbar is the sun God. Allahu Akbar, Muhammad merging two gods to be one. And then after that, uh, Abraham, when those disappear, he don't like it, which is a very stupid idea. I mean, so you worship them and then you, dis you dislike worshiping them because they disappear. Well, Allah never appeared to him anyway, according to the Quran. Did Allah appear to Abraham? No. Okay. So if he, if Abraham, he will not worship the one who disappear, 
Well, how he will worship Allah? How he knew about Allah? Do you know? How? You tell me. I'm asking you. You are the Muslim. Because because I think he 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 received wahi. What do you mean receive wahi? Here we go. He was worshiping stars. Suddenly, suddenly he said, "Okay, you know what? I am Hanif." <laughs> do you see it? Between two brackets, they say Islamic monotheism, liars. What what does have to do? Why you are putting bracket there? It says I am Hanif. Wait, wait. I I don't see it yet. Verily, I have turned my face towards him who has created the heavens and the earth, Hanifa. Uh, that is worshipping none but him, and I am not a Mushrikeen. Mushrikun. Does it say in the Arabic that he said, I am not of Al Mushrikun? Yeah, he's not. Wama kana min al Mushrikeen? Yeah, he says that, yeah. Uh, even Allah said it right about Abraham. Yeah, but hold on, you see here, just to show you how stupid this book is. Who is the one who's talking here? Abraham. Abraham. Who is the one who made the Quran? Who revealed the Quran? Allah. Who, who is the one who made the Quran? What do you mean by made? Like who wrote it down? Okay. Is it you Muslim you say the Quran is the word of Allah? Yes. But this is the word of Ibrahim. So Allah is uh, telling what Ibrahim said. Okay, so this is not the word of Allah. Allah is giving uh, his message. Um, this is not the question. Who is talking here? You said Ibrahim. So yes. how the Quran, how you Muslim you say this the Quran is the word of Allah. That's a lie. And when you Muslim you say nobody can make Quran like the Quran of Allah. Well, isn't it Ibrahim? He made Quran already. Isn't it this is Quran? Is this Quran or not? The verse we are reading. Yes. Okay, exactly. who is the one is talking? Abraham. Okay, this just to make it simple for you. When Suleiman he saw the ant, and the ant she said, "Yeah, who Suleiman. is talking, Allah or the ant?" Ant. Okay. Even ants can make Quran. No, that's not the point. What do you mean? What's the point? Okay, wait. I just ask you, who is the one who is talking? You said the ant, but is that verse is a Quran? Uh, yeah, Allah, Allah took that and added, uh, added it in the Quran. Okay, so Allah is 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 copying Quran of the ant, and He is putting it in His book. So Allah is a is a is a fraud. Allah is not making His own book. This is the ant making Quran. Allah take her words, and He put it in His book, and then He says, "Who can make book like this?" Allah is doing that because. To guide humanity, to guide people like My you. My friend, the one who's guiding humanity is the ant now. Is that Quran or not? If there is something good that Allah found in the ant. This is not the question. I... You Muslim, you say Quran is perfect. Nobody can make Quran like the Quran. And now we find that Allah is copying an ant. Okay. Even ants make Quran. So look what happened. The Quran is the book of Allah. We ask the Muslim, is it a fact? They say it's a fact. Then the second we start checking, we find that the Quran is not in the word of Allah. It's the word of the ants and the word of the cockroaches and the word of the spider and the word of the chair and the word of the tree and the word of Jibreel and the word of Suleiman and the word of Dawood. And I mean, the word of everybody except Allah. Here we go. Here we have a chicken. Here we here we have uh, uh, Suleiman speaking. And then Suleiman he went to see the chickens. He did not find the chickens. He said, "Where is the chicken? If he did not, he is not there. I'm going to make him barbecue." The chicken is back, and he said, no, that is "Hold a on, bird. hold on. Who is the one talking here?" 
Verse number 23. Wait, wait. Yeah, this is the bird that give, used to give news to my prophet Solomon. Ah, he given news. He's a spy. Uh huh. Yeah, CIA. So who is talking here? Allah or the bird? The bird. Okay. So who is making this chapter? Allah or the uh, sorry man and the ant and the bird and the chicken and the afrit, etc. Look, Allah <laughs> chooses whatever He wants to choose to be in the Quran. Then it becomes the Quran. So Allah, he chose what he liked to be in the Quran and then it become a Quran. Okay, I, I want to ask you something very uh, easy. If you look with me here, it says as an example, لا يهتدون. So the last letter is in. The verse after it, the last letter is in. All right. Who is the one who is making them end with in? Is that the ant? Is that Suleiman? Is that the chicken? Wait, uh, let me see which one you're talking about. There's somebody trying to make a rap song, which is funny and stupid. And he is trying to make the last word fit with the last word before it. So, La yahtadun, noon. Ma noon. What does the last noon okay. mean? No, this is not a question. Who is the one who is making it like that? Allah or the bird? Uh, I mean, it, uh, it's for me like it's hard to explain, you know. Ah, uh, it's hard, yeah. I mean, this is yeah. the hard part now. You guys, the ant speaking, he can explain it easy. And the uh, Suleiman, he heard the ant, it's very easy to explain too. And the uh, Suleiman, he checked the chicken, it's easy. And Suleiman, he have two, his, his army 3,500 mile long, it's easy. But this one is hard. This one I'm, is the hard part. I'm sure. Uh, knowledgeable Muslims can answer you like okay let me hang up on you so a knowledgeable Muslim he can call us okay let's see may they may they we need a knowledgeable Muslim <laughs>